friends welcome back to my channel my name is Dana and thanks again for watching I'm excited to get into this video because I always get asked for recommendations for mineral sunscreens and today I have two that I think you're going to like so without further ado we're gonna get in if you are not already subscribed please do so below it really does help my channel and give it a big old like and we'll get going Okay, I've already zoomed you in because we have got some sunscreens to put on my face today and there's just no time for dilly-dallying. Hi, I am Dana. <laughs> I feel like I just said that, but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an overview of my skin type. I try to do this, sometimes I forget, but my skin is pretty normal. It gets more oily in the summertime. It's mainly just based on the climate that I'm in. So I live in a hot, humid climate. So my face does get more oily in the T-zone in the summertime. I wouldn't say it gets super, super dry in the winter anymore. I used to have drier skin. Now I feel like it's pretty normal. So I don't have that issue. I do like to moisturize, but at night versus like in my sunscreen, I don't necessarily need a super thick, heavy, hydrating sunscreen during the day, even in the winter, unless I'm in a very dry climate. So. That's kind of my skin. Um, today I have like just a little bit of peeling around my mouth and my nose. I'm not sure if it's from like the retinol that I used or from some other product. It's not irritating. I don't think it's gonna really affect anything, but I just wanted to let you know in case you saw some flaking. Okay. Anyway, today I have two different tinted mineral sunscreens for you. One is newer, one is not. I think they're gonna kind of cater to different uh, skin types. So I was interested in reviewing them side by side. And the first one we have is the Lightsaver Activated Mineral Sunscreen. This is by, I believe his name is Dr. Kim on um, Instagram. And it's a very like, well, I shouldn't say very, it's a smaller brand. It's not like owned by L'Oreal or anything. And I just found it on Instagram or somebody tagged me in it. And then IS Clinical is more like your kind of, I guess dermatologist recommended. You can find it in a lot of offices like that or clinics. And I've never actually tried any other other products, but I did pick this up. This one was kind of recommended. People like it. And I also like that it is SPF 50. So this is the Eclipse SPF 50. So I'm going to do a side by side comparison just so you can see for skin types. I think that's the most useful and I will get into it and give you my thoughts. I'm going to start with the lightsaber. I'm not going to use my quarter of a teaspoon just because when it's a half of my face, it gets a little tricky to like measure it out exactly. So I will be using the two finger length rule. Two finger lengths is recommended if you don't have your quarter teaspoon. But when I say that people sometimes do a very small thin like strip on their finger, I would recommend doing like a pretty hefty one. That way you're going to get the most actual protection. Some people prefer to do, whoa, why can't I put three, three finger lengths? And that is actually probably closer to your quarter of a teaspoon. If you're ever curious how much it takes, just take a quarter of a teaspoon, measure it off of your fingers, and then you'll kind of have a frame of reference for the future. But I just use this because I don't really mind. So all that to say, people always say, I get so many comments where it's like, you're using too much girl. And to that, I say, you're not using enough. <laughs> okay, so this is my finger length and you can see it's pretty hefty. Like I'm not sparing any sunscreen on my finger and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. So this is the Lightsaver Activated Mineral Sunscreen SPF 33. It retails for $45 and it says that it is a tinted mineral facial sunscreen with SPF 33 and a silky whip texture. Comes in 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. It's also formulated with their proprietary light activated repair complex. This has 14.2% zinc oxide. They do say it's 100% mineral, but it also does have butyl octyl salicylate. So I apologize if that is something that irritates your skin. I wish it didn't have it, but it does. So the LARC, the light activated repair complex, is a special blend of photolyase, niacinamide, squalane, and ligandberry. It says it's the ultimate multitasker designed to help repair signs of sun damage, brighten and moisturize and help provide blue light protection. It also has a silky smooth whipped texture and sheer tint that melts into your skin. Suitable for oily and sensitive skin. Okay, next up, IS Clinical Eclipse 50. This one, I don't think it's gonna work if I do it on my finger, but I 
I'm pretty sure two pumps should be your proper amount. Um, so I'll do one pump. Let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty big amount. <laughs> So this is the IS Clinical Eclipse SPF 50 Plus. It retails for $48, so it is a few dollars more than Lightsaber, but you get a whopping 3.5 fluid ounces. The interesting thing about this is they say that it is a SPF 50 with a unique fusion of scientifically blended physical sunscreens, transparent titanium dioxide, and micronized zinc oxide. They also say that it is ultra sheer lightweight formula that absorbs quickly for a non-greasy matte finish. So interesting that they said that. All right, water resistant. It doesn't say for how long, but it does say it's ultra sheer and again, fast absorbing. As far as our active ingredients, there's 5.2% titanium dioxide and 1.1% zinc oxide. So those are pretty small, like low numbers for active ingredients. And I don't see any other active ingredients in it, but that doesn't mean that the formula doesn't contain other uh, kind of like SPF uh, boosters. Okay, so let's talk about these sunscreens. I find that the description for the lightsaber is the most accurate. It does have that really nice whipped consistency, which is one of my favorite consistencies. I just, I find it is easier, especially for people with oily skin these days, they're not as many products out there that kind of are targeted for that. It, it really lends itself to sinking in. It doesn't feel greasy. My skin has like a little bit of tack to it, but it has sunken in and it's not moving. That said, there is a nice little glow. So if I left the house, I would feel like very, very put together, a very sheer tint to it, but also like a little bit of glow, but not too much. It's kind of the perfect in between. I think if you have drier skin, you obviously are gonna to wanna to layer underneath um, with a skincare or moisturizer, but I think you're also gonna get a little bit of a glow. That said, I don't think it's gonna give you that long lasting hydration throughout the day. So if you do have drier skin, it's probably not gonna be your ideal sunscreen unless maybe in the summertime. But I do really, really love the tint. The tint is one of the closest like neutral, just like cancels out the white cast, but doesn't give you a very heavy like cast or not cast, but um, pigmentation to it. I'm thinking of like the wonder screen. This one feels a very, like my summer shade. I don't think I can wear this one in the winter. I would have like a line at my face and then like my neck down would be white. But I think the lightsaber is gonna be one that I could kind of wear year round, or if I even need to bronze it up in the summertime, I could do that. Now, talking about the IS Clinical, this one, I was surprised by it because the description online, I was not expecting to see that it said a matte finish because it doesn't have like the glowiest finish. I mean, it has a lot of glow, but I wouldn't say that this has a super matte finish. Like I have had sunscreens that have way more matte um, finishes than this. But that said, if you don't wear any skincare underneath, which is what I have today, I've not worn any skincare moisturizer, it does sink in pretty easily. And that is different than when I first tested it. I think I must have worn it over a moisturizer and that was too much for me. But I think if you do have a little bit more dry skin, this one is gonna give you a little bit more of that moisturization throughout the day. It does really have a nice glow to it, but when I'm touching my face, it feels pretty similar to this side. I would say that the lightsaber has sunken in just a little bit more and this one is sitting on my skin just a little bit more. So I think they're very close in that they both have kind of this neutral cast where you're really not getting pigment, which is great because there's so many tinted sunscreens that really are just like makeup in my opinion. They have so much pigment. They, if they're not the right shade for you, it's just, it's not gonna work. It's not like a one color fits all, but these two I think can kind of go for a lot more shades and skin tones than some of the others. That said, when you first put on the IS Clinical, it does take a little bit of time it kind of has a little bit of a white cast underneath, but like very minimal and then it sinks in pretty immediately. So if I had to choose for like a deeper skin tone, I would say that the lightsaber is probably gonna be a little bit better. And then the IS Clinical, it pulls just a little, like a hair bit pink and like a little white. So I think if you have a lighter skin tone, the IS Clinical is gonna be better for you. That said, you can kind of manipulate them and you could easily wear makeup over top to cancel out any of the undertones that aren't right. But I do think both of them are really, really nice. They're very expensive, like 45 and 48, 
you're also getting a lot of product with this IS Clinical. So they are pretty good deals. And I think that they're two of the better mineral sunscreens that I've tried in a while. The others that I have on my desk that I kind of reach for more often are the Bubble, which I still love. I think this tint also is one of the better like neutral kind of undertones where it's not gonna show up too deep or pigmented on people. And then, like I mentioned, the Dime, it's not really, that this one definitely has more of a pigment to it and i feel like it's my summer shade but those four are kind of the ones that i'm reaching for a lot these days but these are two i think you guys would be interested in and if you are looking for something that really does sink into your skin and not sit on your face as much as some mineral sunscreens these are two good options for you so with that said i hope this was helpful and i will see you guys in my next video bye